We'll start with this uh, post from Kepano, who is the CEO of Obsidian. He's sharing this email from Banding Spums, proposing them to discuss Banding Spums acquiring Obsidian. Uh, but I also want to show you my progress on Obsidian Publish, my website. Uh, I've been talking about this for the past few days, and possibly there is a third <laughs> topic there. Anyway, this is an email. You'll find all the links for this. Uh, it looks like it's an email. You'll find all the links in the description box below. How ridiculous would it be to discuss Banning Spoms potentially acquiring Obsidian. If for some reason you don't know this, Banning Spoms is the same company uh, that uh, acquired Evernote a few years ago. Pano was clearly not happy with this from the very beginning. He posted it everywhere on social media. And I guess this, yeah, two days ago he wrote this. Uh, in case it wasn't obvious, the answer is no, we are not interested. There, then, he, he posted this other one here. There doesn't have to be an end goal. You can just make useful things for people who want to use them and live a happy life. The more I look at this, the less I understand this email. It's pretty weird to me. The tone is strange. Uh, the companies, why would Benny Spoon would, would want to? No taking apps. Anyway, yesterday I published a B-side video for supporters on Patreon and YouTube, just brainstorming things, just talking, because just, I don't know, because this is so weird. So if you are a supporter and you haven't watched uh, that video, you, you'll find the links in the description below. Okay, enough with this. If you are a supporter again, please go check the other video. I'd love to have a discussion with you guys there. But for now, let's switch to something less stressful. Uh, if you're following my recent videos, you know that I'm looking for a better way to uh, present my content, my posts to you. And this is, I decided uh, I would go, I would use Obsidian Publish because it's much easier. The other, the other possibilities are very interesting. I may explore them in the future and what I'm doing here will help that in the future. So this is not gonna be lost because it's everything, it, everything is inside Obsidian, I'll, I'll soon show you. Let's take a look at the, my progress so far. This is not in my domain yet. I'm still using the Obsidian temporary domain and I, I, this is, but this is all online. It, this is what I'm doing so far. We'll, we'll take a look at all this here, but let's go to that post that I've been showing you in the last videos. So this is now published and it's working like I wanted it to work. So this box here is exactly what I showed you in that other video. This again, this is posted and it's working because if we go to two box, uh, sync, 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 sync thing, here it is. This is that text. Of course, I have to make this better, but for now, I'm trying to understand how I'm going to connect all this. And as you can see here, links to this page, because I have this inside that other page, I also have a link to go back to that page here. So this here is now a dynamic content that I can change right here. And when I change it here, it will also change here. If you, if you read my post, you know that I sometimes put some affiliate links. It helped a lot. If you want to buy anything that I showcase here on the channel, please consider using my affiliate links, okay? It helps. <laughs> and then there is here, this other box. So all these boxes, this one here, this one here, and this one here are notes. And I can change those boxes. I can change the content. So this one has the social media. I can change this and it will automatically change on all the notes, on all the posts that have this little box inside them. So let me show you here on Obsidian how this works. So this is my Rio account. Uh, 
you don't have to create a specific place for the website. I created this folder because since I've, I'm moving things from the other no, uh, other folders, to it's much easier for me to understand what I have already done. So all this here is already here. If we go to this space here, there are some old posts here. And I found out in a hard way <laughs> that I have to start from the end to the beginning because the recent posts usually have links back to the older posts. So if I don't have the older posts, it's harder to fix the links, to organize the links, to connect to the older posts. I don't have to make a lot of changes, but it's much better if I start from the past. So that's why there are very old posts here. And this is also interesting because I, I was bringing some old posts to my old blog, the one that is currently still working. So this are, that's, that's why there, there are so few posts because I have them saved locally and I've, I'm gradually bringing them to the blog again. And it's, fun, it's gonna be much easier now. So let's go to uh, Obsidian here for a while. Uh, this structure here, so we have here the, the same. Of course, I'll publish a more detailed uh, how-to in the future. I just wanna show you, just give you a, an idea of how things are working. So all this here is here. I can reorder this, it'll, I'll soon show you. There are some folders that I haven't uploaded yet, uh, but here are the files. So I created this for the files, I created this for the photos. Again, you don't need to do this. I'm doing that. You can choose any file on your Obsidian Tire account. I just did this to make to make things a little more understandable here on this process. So this is an old post. Uh, I always post it from Obsidian, so I have this. I, I already have the posts here. So what I'm doing is, and by the way, people sometimes ask me why I use this green. It's not because of Evernote. It's because of a, a monitor, an old phosphor, green phosphor monitor like this one here. That's why I, 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 I use this green on Obsidian and I'm, I decided to do the same on the website. So Obsidian does things a little bit different when publishing. So here's it. Here's how it works. First, the title of the note doesn't go here. This was micro-published, doesn't go here. This is not how Obsidian understand what is a title. It understand it like this. You have to create a H1 title. So this is gonna be the title of the note. Okay, so this is one thing I have to do. I also want the note to have the date in case when it's a blog post. So I'm putting the date here. And finally, this here was how uh, uh, Micro Published created the, the, the address of the post, but Obsidian does it in a different way. So I have to put permalink. If you don't know what permalink is, there is an article explaining what it is, but basically permalink is telling Obsidian that I want Obsidian to show this address to the public, to the world. So this is the address I want it uh, to show on the, the, the browser bar here. Here, the address, let's go to that. For example, this, I wanted to show this address here, the my domain name plus this address here, because this is the one I was using before on the other blog. So no post will break. Everybody will go to the same, click the same links and it, if I posted that on social media, you can click the same link and it will go to my, uh, to my new blog. But here on Obsidian, I have to remove this part here because this is already my domain and this will come in the future, automatically be added to the post in the future. So this is what I have to do basically for each post. It's gonna take a while because there are <laughs> many posts. We are talking uh, around 200 posts here, but that's okay. It's, it's good because I can tweak things and rearrange things. So let's go to publish. When you uh, pay for publish, you have to, to turn it on. On, on Obsidian and click here again. I'll publish a more detailed video about this in the future. Here we have all the folders and files I have in my Obsidian and 
as you can see, we can choose a file or folder to upload from anywhere. And that's why I created this, because it's much easier to come here and see everything that I have here and select the files from here. So we have that file that is inside the blog folder, the one we just fixed. I'm gonna check that. And also, I'm gonna check the three images because I want to upload that. And this is smart because it's not gonna show me all the other files, the other ones that I have already uploaded. It's gonna show me only the new files. So this is pretty cool because I know that this ones need to be uploaded. And now all I have to do is hit publish. It's gonna publish those files, but there's one more thing that we have to do. Because of the way I, I'm structuring the, the, the blog and the, the site, I have this file here, blog, where I'm putting, oh, this, we'll, we'll get to this, but let me show you this here, blog, the file is this one, where is it? Cleaning here, this one here, it's from 2023. Let's see if there's no, there's no 2023. So let's create here. I guess it's four, yeah, H4, 2023. I'm gonna do this now, cleaning, drag this here, July 13. And I'm gonna make this a little better here. Okay, here we have it. Now we can also upload this file here, so let's, Look for it, oh, this one we don't have to select. This is also interesting. As you can see here, one selected file, this was changed. So I could just come here and hit publish, but, but let me show you. So it's gonna show this file here because I just changed it. It's already uploaded and that's why I don't need to do anything. I, I can all, all I have to do is just hit publish and it will upload that file. Now, if we go back to the blog, and click here, blog again, because this is how I'm organizing things. I can click here and go to that file. And everything I change here, where is it? It's cool because it's gonna work here just like there. Everything I change here will change here the next time I update the website. And here I'm doing something. Uh, I'm creating this, structure where I'm putting the, the tags here. This is just, let us let me show you. This is just some tags that I added here because these tags are on all the posts and I can, I don't know, click, let's say San Francisco and there is here a post and I can go to that Evernote Tron conference in San Francisco. How cool is that? <laughs> Oh, that's Phil living. <laughs> it's gonna take a, a it's still gonna take a while to make. Oh, you can also make if you don't like the dark theme, you can switch it to to white and it and you have the search box. There's still a lot of work to be done here, but I think you can understand why I choose Obsidian Publish instead of the other options that also use the Obsidian Vault, but would demand more time and would have to understand how to use uh, those technologies. And I will already have to spend a lot of time creating, rebuilding the structure here. So I didn't want to have to think about technical problems right now, but I guess in the future I'll be uh, doing that. Uh, just the last thing here. So this part here will be the toolbox. Everything will be the, the kind of help center, wiki, I don't know how to call this, but all the technical details of all the products will be here. I may add another subfolder here for projects like the Apple IIe restoration project. So there's gonna be a lot here. And as you can see, I also opted not to add the graph view. Let me put it here so you can see how it would be. If we go to the settings here, I can choose to turn it on. Strike break, show graph view, here it is. So if I save settings now, and go back to the website and refresh it. See, everything is now 
it shows all the connections. There are many options. You, you can also add the headings here, but I prefer to keep it simple. So let's go back here and remove that. Show backlinks. I want to see the backlinks, but I don't want to see the graph view. Oh, and here you also you can also use uh, analytics. There are many things that I, that you can do with the Obsidian publish feature. Okay, last topic. Uh, I told you I was going to record and publish a video. I was trying to record and publish a video every day in December. I uh I I did I did good. <laughs> Yesterday I didn't publish one, but until the day before yesterday I was publishing one every day. But I want to take a few days with my family. I don't want to do this. I, I I don't think December is a good month to do this. I may choose another month uh, to do this uh, challenge again because it's interesting. I learned a lot about the topics. I learned a lot about how to make uh, make my process a little bit more agile. So it, it was a good experience that I may repeat in the future. There will probably be more videos this year, not sure yet, but no more challenge, no more one video per day. <laughs> That's it for this one. Thanks for watching. If you want to help, please consider supporting my work on Patreon or YouTube. You can also buy me a coffee. Thanks for watching. See you soon.